Welcome to Have a Very Nice Day. Thank you for watching my channel. Alright, we're going to be checking out Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, which I haven't reacted to in a long time, and this was recently requested. And the song is called Take a Pebble, and this is the official audio. So I'm going to be clicking screen record in 3, 2, 1. And here we go. Let's do it. This is different already. <laughs> this is that's different. Take a pebble and cast it to the sea. Then watch the ripples that unfold into me. My face spills so gently into your eyes. Disturbing the waters of our lives Shreds of our memories are lying on your grass Wounded words of laughter Are graveyards of the past Photographs of gray and torn Scattered in your fields Letters Does it sound like a guitar or is it something else? Let me know in the comments. I'm not gonna pause it too much. Now that's a guitar and it's only in this ear. Hmm. It's a water sound? Oh, this is trippy. Oh, that's so cool. It's like a distant sound. It's not right in your ears. It's like it's behind me. I've not experienced something like this before. Hmm. 
That is so cool, I'm sorry. The water in the background is just... This is an experience. The soft guitar and the water in the background. Yes.
creased and tattered hang the rags of your hopes. The daybreak is your midnight. The colors have all died. Disturbing the waters. talk about this that that was an experience in itself it was almost like three or four different songs to me um i'm not sure exactly what genre you would put this in because it sounded almost like i want to say like progressive rock maybe but it almost had like an element of like jazz as well like with the piano and all the different notes um I would not know what to call this style of music because it reminds me of Jethro Tull in a way. It reminds me of like early Genesis in a way, especially with the voices in particular and the way they've arranged the instruments in this was such a masterpiece. Like, I, w I mean, it, it almost feels like you go on a journey listening to this. Like, I would definitely recommend listening to this song with headphones on. And I know I have earbuds in. But I'm sure I didn't hear everything completely steal. Um, gosh, I'm going to have to listen to this again later with, with headphones and then come back and add something to this. Because this is just incredible. Um, let's, let's look at the lyrics, though. I would like to take a look at the lyrics. So let me go over to Safari. Let's see, Emerson... Lake and Palmer, and the song was Take a Pebble. Okay. All right, let's see what people say about this song. Okay, I'd like to know the meaning behind this song as well or because I'm not really completely sure what I think the meaning of the song is I feel like from what I've what I got from it the first you know the first listen I feel like I've gotten I feel like it's about like just the changes you go through in life like emotionally spiritually everything you know physically but let, let's look at this though because I am kind of uh, curious. Okay. Okay. Take a pebble. Trying to find... Okay, I see, I said progressive rock, and I knew they were a British band, but I just didn't, for some reason, consider them progressive rock until I heard this. Because I've heard a few of their other songs, but... Okay. Let's see what this says. So, the album came out in 1970. Okay. It says, a Greg Lake composition. Take a Pebble finds the... ELP singer guitarist in a reflective mood as he sings, just take a pebble and cast it to the sea. Then watch the ripples that unfold into me. It's the second track of the group's first album providing a mild counterpart or counterpoint to the brutal first cut, The Barbarian. I'll have to go back and listen to that one as well. But it says in the 2016 reissue of the album, Keith Emerson wrote about recording this song. Take a Pebble was quite, quite amazing. There's a lot of piano work in there and improvisation. 
I remember Carl Palmer, the drummer, had his brushes out. See, I was thinking brushes. I don't know if y'all could read my lips, but I was thinking brushes when I heard that part. Um, he wasn't painting at the time, but he did a lot of brush work on the snare drum. While I played an O-S-T-I-N-A-T-O. Let me know in the comments what that is. Um, it says, I played on theme with the right hand, and we took took it from there. At the beginning of the piece, I scraped the piano strings. I'd hold down various notes on the grand piano while strumming the strings. It's a technique Keith Jarrett, J-A-R-R-E-T-T, -T, first used and makes a great effect. I actually thought it was pretty cool too myself. Let me know in the comment section uh, what you think the song means because it was so long I had forgotten what lyrics I did here. Um, we could go back and check the lyrics though. I would like to look at the lyrics real quick. Um, because it's, it's such a interesting sound to me. It says, just take a pebble and cast it to the sea. Then watch the ripples that unfold into me. My face spills so gently into your eyes, disturbing the waters of our lives. Spread shit. Shred of our memories are lying in your grass. Wounded words of laughter are graveyards past. So it feels like there was a lot of pain in this person's life in the, in his, in the past, maybe. Photographs are gray and torn scattered in your fields. It's almost like he misses somebody or something bad happened to somebody that he loved. That's what it sounds like. Wear sadness on your shoulders like a worn out overcoat. Mm, sounds kind of like depression. In pockets creased and tattered, hang the rags of your hopes. Makes me feel like this person felt hopeless. I'm not sure, though. The daybreak in your midnight, the colors have all died. Mm. Sounds like he's he just feels done. Disturbing the waters of our lives. So let me know in the comment section what you think the song means. And, um, or just any facts about the song that I wasn't able to figure out because I would love to know more about this. I know about the band, but I think I'm gonna have to dig in deeper. Um, I've not went down the Emerson, Lake and Palmer rabbit hole. I've went down the Genesis rabbit hole and I've went down the Jethro Tull rabbit hole. So let me know in the comments what other song by them should I check out, but thank y'all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell to get notified for new and upcoming reaction videos. My Facebook is at Have a Very Nice Day. And as always, thank y'all for watching. Keep on rocking. Peace. Welcome to Have a Very Nice Day. Thank you for watching my channel.